inside Pablo Escobar's million dollar mansion. Pablo Escobar was an unbeatable force in the 1980s and early 90s. This high-level notorious crime expert was also supposedly the world's richest man once upon a time, unofficially of course. With cash stashed inside hidden vaults and walls, Escobar continued with his legacy long after his end in 1993. It is said that even today, most of his fortunes are still hidden at unknown places. Pablo Escobar's journey started in Medellin, Colombia in early 1970s. His early work would involve capturing, stealing, holding people for ransom etc. However, Escobar rose to fame in 1976, when he started dealing in substance. This was the start of what was called the infamous Medellin cartel. His dealings increased to such a level that in the 80s he was called the king of substance. At his peak, he was responsible for plundering close to 15 tons of substance into the US, every single day. Naturally, he became super rich before he knew it. Pablo Escobar owned over 15 private jets, 6 helicopters and numerous palatial estates. Beyond this, he had cash stacked up inside his estates, within walls, in secret storages etc. His brother Roberto Escobar once famously claimed that Pablo would invest over $1,000 every month just for rubber bands to hold his cash. This super wealthy man had an affiliation for palatial homes. One of the most controversial and richest estates was Hacienda Napoles. This colonial style house was home to a sculpture park, a zoo including elephants, exotic birds, giraffes, four hippos, etc. He also owned a huge, 6,500 square feet mansion in Miami Beach, Florida, USA. But there is one residence, that very few people know about. In an island, deep within the Caribbean Sea, is what was once Pablo Escobar's favorite summer residence. The island called Isla Grande, is part of a larger coral cluster of islands and has about 800 local inhabitants today. The only way to reach the island is through a private speedboat or helicopter. Once you land at the island, you have to navigate through thick, dense forest to find the Greek-inspired white mansion. Although today, the mansion, La Casa Grande remains just a misnomer. La Casa Grande, in its peak, had manicured courtyards, a large swimming pool, a helicopter landing pad, reinforced windows, tiled floors, the list is endless. During his life, Escobar hosted some of the most controversial parties here. Lavish, would have been an understatement for these parties. That's how grand they were. After he passed away in 1993, the Colombian government seized the property. Overlooked by the government, this 300 guest room palace is now crumbling in ruins. Its walls are tainted, gardens not looked after and the pool, dry and dirty. His home, like his memory, is constantly fading. After all every legacy comes to an end, right? Even today, the world remembers him, not for any good reason though. Netflix has an entire series loosely based on his life. Owing to all the documented facts, it is no brainer that he may well have been the richest person when he was alive. I mean, investment of $1000 on rubber bands to take care of your cash is no joke.